It's November, man. The year is almost up. And uh, we've done a lot of work with the hands this year. So I just want to mention this, man. Like before this video is over, or after the video is over, drop a comment below, man. I want to know how your hands have come since January. I know a lot of you guys have been doing the workouts, the double stroke workout, and all the other ones that I, that I popped up. I want to know, man. I want to know how far your hands have come since January. I can tell you straight up, my hands have come a long way since January. These feel awesome. So let me know, man. Drop a comment. Let me know how the videos have been helping you out, how much better your hands have gotten. Now, there's no way that I could have let this year end without including some sort of flam workout, and that's what we're going to do today. So suit up. Get yourself a practice pad, your favorite pair of sticks, maybe a bottle of water if you want, and come on back here because this workout is going to be flam-tastic. Flam rudiments are super essential and really, really effective in developing finger control, wrist control. Um, so it's, it's really important that you include some sort of flam exercise inside of your routine. And you don't have to get fancy with it, man. Like, you know me. I don't like to overcomplicate stuff. So the one that we're going to use today is dead simple. It's basically kind of a Swiss triplet. But um, we're actually going to be playing it in more like a string of straight sixteenths in a three-note grouping over just like a straight four kind of thing. So we're physically going to be playing the Swiss triplet, but it's going to be, like I said, more of a three-note grouping um, of sixteenths. And we're going to do this for ten minutes. Ten straight minutes. All right, so let me show you this pattern that we're going to play. It's dead simple, Promark fire grain, in case you're wondering. Um, so yeah, the, the pattern is just really easy. It, all it is is just a right, right, left with a flam on the first accent. So if we're going to start with this, one, two, one, two, three, four, uh, just right, right, left. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, right? And then all we're going to do from there is just flam the first note. So we're going to go from that to this. And that's it. That's all we're going to do. But we're going to do that for 10 minutes at 120 beats per minute. Now, like I said before, we're not technically going to be counting this as triplets. We're going to be counting this as straight sixteenths um, once we start the uh, once we start the click up. So if this is our tempo, two, three, four, we're actually going to be playing it like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Like that. Now I like practicing it this way, especially when I'm sitting in front of the TV. I like doing it this way because I think it's really practical once you go to uh, apply it to the drums. Because if that's, a, I mean, if we're grooving like this, Boom, boom, boom. That's the feel that I want to that I want to have in my head when I'm playing this kind of exercise. So that's what we're going to do with it today. Now the goal of this exercise is to develop killer control. So we're not just going to play it straight one way for ten minutes. We're actually going to play this at three different volumes. I'm going to call them first gear, second gear, and third gear. And each gear is going to require something else from the hands. So this is really going to help you to develop your dynamic control of the stick 
and, uh, and your articulation, all that stuff. All right, so let's talk mechanics. For those of y'all out there that are going to be playing the match grip, again, we're going to be going three different volume levels. So first gear. First gear is going to be mostly finger and a little bit of wrist, okay? So stay nice and relaxed. I want all your fingers touching the stick. None of this. Right? You know how I feel about this. Um, but this is super comfortable. I'm using sort of an American grip here. And in first gear, you can really feel the weight of the stick. So have the loosest grip that you can possibly get on there. Choose your fulcrum. I'm using the, uh, the middle finger in both hands. And it's just bouncing a couple of tennis balls. That's all I'm doing, right? So just like that, super nice and easy. Second gear. What we're going to do for second gear, pretty much the same thing, but I just want you to engage a little bit more of the wrist. Turn the wrist up about another 25% to, um, to get that medium volume out of that. So you can go from there to here. All right, so I'm doing exact, exactly the same thing. I'm just controlling the wrist. Third gear, maximum volume. What I want you to do for third gear is keep that same grip that you have on the stick, but instead of working the wrist even harder, I don't want you to do that. I want you to think of this. Concentrate on playing from here. This is third gear, the elbow. All right, so if we're going from second gear, when we switch to third gear, I want you to sort of visualize this happening. The travel is actually going to be really small, but if you concentrate on playing from the elbow, you know, that's what it's, that's what it's going to feel like. The reason why third gear is important is that later on, when the stuff translates over to playing the drums, you start playing power flam licks on your toms, the toms aren't going to talk back to you as much as you want them to. Like, there's not enough, uh, or there's not as much rebound as there is on your snare. So when you're working from the elbow, you can really get those powerful flams on those surfaces. For you traditional grip players out there, as far as what you're doing with the stick, there's only two areas of your hand that really matter when we're doing this. Right there, the cradle. All you're going to do is sit that stick inside that cradle, keep it nice and firm, and then let it sit on that last digit of the ring finger. And you can do most of this exercise just like this. These first two fingers don't even really have to touch the stick. So when we're doing these, the majority of, the, of what's happening is happening in here. And what's helping with the bounce and the lift is just the ring finger. So you don't need these for anything. You can use them if you want, but I'm just saying, um, most of what's happening is happening right in there. So that's it. You ready to go? Let's go. All right, everybody. Choose your grip. Get comfortable. Elbows nice and tucked in. Stay nice and relaxed. We're going to start in first gear. And I'll count you off. Here we go. One, two. One, two, three, and on.
Now you should have a nice loose grip on these sticks. And at this point, you should really be able to feel the weight of the stick and just use it to your advantage. I mean, this shouldn't feel like much of anything. Now, I don't know if you can um, see my right knee. But I'm tapping those quarters. I suggest you do the same. And the important thing here, man, is that I don't want you to think of this so much as an exercise. Just, you gotta visualize yourself playing music. Because when you take this to the drums, that's what you're gonna be doing. So we'll sit here for a little bit. After three minutes, we're gonna take it up to second gear. If you hear me um, get tripped up occasionally, don't mind me. It's actually hard to do while you're talking at the same time. So cut me some slack, man. All right, let's take this to second gear again. All you need to do is just engage a little bit more wrist. Take it up to the next volume. Ready? Three, two, one, and on. Uh. This should feel just as easy. about 25% more wrist. Feels good, man. I like using loops because I want you to hear music. Just feel it out, man. Traditional grip players, how you doing? You see what I'm doing here. I ain't working. 
This ain't nothing. A bit longer. Let's take it back to first gear in a second. Before we go with third. Three, two, one, first gear. Uh. Now, a true mark of control is your articulation at low volumes. Remember that. How clean can you sound when you're playing quiet? How you doing? Good? All right, we're going to take this up. Third gear, remember, play from the elbow. Take it right up. I count you down. One, two, three, and uh. Good, right? Punch it out, man. Feel that accent against the four. Okay, let's go back down to two, second gear, three, two, one, and second gear. Almost done, man. And first gear, we Two, one, and uh. Now how cool was that? Your hand, when you put these sticks down, your hands are gonna feel awesome. Three, two, one, and uh. So there it is, 10 minutes of flams. Good job if you lasted the whole 10 minutes. If you didn't, good job still. Two minutes, three minutes, no big deal. You can always work your way up a little bit at a time. 
until you can get to 10 minutes. Now my suggestion to you, like if you're going to do this exercise, it's important that you do it once with the right hand, once with the left hand. All right, so we've been starting with the right. Make sure you reverse it and do another five minutes, 10 minutes with the left hand. You got to keep these nice and even. But this is one of those little exercises that has a bunch of residual benefits. Things that are going to affect a lot of other stuff that you do in the drums. So you might find yourself three months from now going to play something and then just noticing that, wow, this thing feels way better than it did three months ago. So this video is indeed time stamped for future viewing. So once you know how to do it, you just want to skip right to the workout. Timestamp is in the description box. For my Patreon members, this loop will be an exclusive download for you guys. I will post this link on the page as soon as I'm done here. That's it for me, man. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you share it if you dig it. Hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is going to come out. Like, subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment, man. Let me know how your hands have been coming since January. See you next video.